Hey boys, welcome back to some more Don Brown and Cricket 17. And in this game, or in this match, we're playing a five over game against the Melbourne Renegades, playing as the Brisbane Heat. I haven't showcased the, uh, you know, the big bash teams as of as of yet, so I thought it was a good time to get into it. I did want to do a tournament, but there's still two, two teams to be uploaded to the academy, and that's the two Sydney teams, Sydney Thunder, Sydney Sixers. And... I mean, like from the the proper guys. There are t there are those teams up there, but they're the Sixers side is good, but the uh, Thunder side is not very accurate. So I'm I'm waiting until they're fully updated to start my career. But Ben Cunning here starting the match off just perfectly. Aaron Finch, typical Finch, just getting out <laughs> very cheaply, hitting the ball catchable height, and uh, that's the perfect start to the to the match here for this game. I am playing on just a standard setting, so medium, medium, and pro difficulty. I will be increasing that. Um, I definitely will be increasing that, but um, that's what it is for this game. As Kevin White comes to the crease, Ben Cunning on fire early, and that one is almost hit straight to the field of the... F he did not want to charge in on it, though. You know, I, I don't know. It was, it was pretty close. He, uh, he let it bounce. You know, took the safe option, I guess, but that one... I was trying to get a good uh, outswinger going, but just uh, just stray too close to the pads and uh, get punished for it. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to start like a tournament of the Big Bash when the teams are fully released. But that one there, absolute beautiful. That is unplayable. Unplayable by Ben Cutting. Completely bold him. The off cutter. No, the leg cutter, in fact. But that one is strained a mile. And that is... I might make like a... I think something that people might enjoy is like a, a tips video on bowling and batting, maybe, you know, spin bowling, pace bowling and batting. Um, but that right there is a little tip. Use the cutters. The cutters are so effective in this game. It's amazing. Um, I, I, I could argue that maybe they're a little bit too good, but that one right there, we just gone for the full in swing. And Matthew Wade has played all around it. And Ben Cunning picks up two wickets and... Picks up three in the over, but two in the last two balls. He would have been on a hat trick, but unfortunately only gets one over. But Matthew Wade, it just it swung past him. He uh, you know, it was pitched on like maybe a little bit outside off, but geez, that was a good ball. As a uh, Samuel Badry here, great ball to start. I thought this was out for all money. The umpire is going to give it no out, and there wasn't much confidence, but I, I thought I had to challenge it. You know, I wanted to see the DRS in action, and I just I had to. I thought this was out, but um. We'll see on the replay here. Uh, but yeah, what was I... I was talking about, yeah, the cutters. I, I would highly suggest using leg cutters, off cutters. But right there, it's so plumb. It's so plumb. But on the edge, oh, <laughs> you'll see there's a tiny little blip. And uh, here we get hotspot. It's uh, the DRS. You know, it worked well in the last game. But in this game, it, it's even better. And you'll see why coming up in a moment. But uh, as you see, a little faint edge. It was so plumb. If not, it just... It just slid onto the pad. A good first up delivery, but this is why it's so cool. It's got the leg side hotspot, which it did not have in the last game. So these uh, these sort of edges, you're going to be out of tell a lot easier. And uh, it's just cool for the game. So as you see, a big big hotspot there. So a good decision by the umpire as Badry comes in. Floats that one up, but uh, Callum Ferguson this time has smashed that for six. 82 meters. Probably, probably one of the biggest sixes I've seen in the in the game so far that one there though I couldn't really see what happened with the, ca the camera sort of got a little screwed up but I, I, I appealed I didn't really know what happened I think he might have just edged it onto his pad and uh, you know a great over so far from Badri apart from that <laughs> apart from that six but that one is clean bold him we just went for the the slider there a little bit shorter a little bit quicker and it's just just can I think he might have got a little little tickle on that one as well a little inside edge but it has just rocketed into the uh, probably like middle stump really, but uh, now we got Jason Flores in the bowl. We got a decent bowling attack in this five-over match, but that one is absolutely plumb. Dwayne Bravo, golden duck. His first ball. He's he's been out for a for a while now. We, well, he's been you know he's been out there for a while, but first ball absolutely plumb. And that run there, it's hit straight up in the air. And right, this right here, I've got to be honest, as you see the fielder, he's got his hands on his head. He's not fucking running for the ball. I think this might be like a thing in the game, like stamina. I find that completely frustrating. I 
I cannot stand the stamina thing if that happens in the game. That is absolutely ridiculous, but that's a, that's a discussion for another time, honestly. But right here, he's going to chip it up, and that fielder who was just out on his feet for some reason, it might be like one of the bowlers, but it is caught by McCullum, so I don't know why. It was It's so weird. Um, but two wickets in this over, but it's also going to go for a few runs. Uh, Peter Neville and uh, James Panson is now out to the crease, but a, a good over, you know, picking up two wickets, Flores is definitely not one of the premier bowlers, as, uh, who is this, Feckety comes into the attack, and first ball, uh, not first ball, <laughs> a few, it was a good start to the over, but, um, good start, and then James Panson finally gets, uh, gets to free his arms right there, and, uh, gets, gets one away, but we try the off cutter here, and, uh, we'll see this one deck away, and it has taken the edge, so the cutters work again here, and, uh, who was the, who was the keeper? I think it's Jimmy Pearson. He takes a uh, a good catch. It was just a good off cutter. You know, James Panston looking to go for the big cover drive. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention at the start, you would have seen the the lineups. I didn't realize when I started this game that I had Matthew Wade and Peter Neville in the same side. Um, I would have changed it obviously, but I didn't realize. I thought that team looked pretty pretty standard. But right here, Josh Laylor had started pretty well his first over. And Nathan Remington had to go big here, but it's just a nice little in-swinger, cleans up middle stump. And uh, this has just been a clinical bowling performance from uh, from all the bowlers. You know, Flores is the only one that got hit around a bit, but he still picked up two wickets, so good stuff. But uh, Laylor, looking here, he's, uh, he's kind of the offside. He might have got a little tickle on that, going to the leg side, and he is going to give it out. I, honestly, if the reflex catch didn't pop up there, I probably wouldn't have thought he hit it. I might have appealed, but I, I didn't really see much of a, or, you know, feel much of a deflection, but, you know, we'll take it, so, uh, Josh Laylor finishing off the innings as Bradley Hogg, Hoggy has moved away from the Scorchers, that, uh, that's devastating, honestly, I'm, I'm actually pretty mad that he's gone to the Renegades, Renegades definitely not one of my favorite teams in the comp, but, uh, Bradley Hogg, you know, he's still gotta love him, I'm gonna be sad not to see him at the Scorchers next year, but, you know, it is what it is, um, I don't know why he would move. The score, I read in the paper that the Scorchers offered him quite a bit of money still, so, you know, it is what it is, though. As, uh, Hogg does get one away, the last ball of the innings is going to trickle over the line there, so they finish the over with a bit of a flurry, but that's, uh, that is a clinical bowling performance. 31 we restricted them to. We almost got them all out. Nine for, look at all those ducks, dude. <laughs> The bowling figures. Flora is the only one that goes over like six and over. That's that's incredible. Joe Burns and uh, Brendan McCullum. A uh, pretty decent opening pair. McCullum obviously the more dangerous of the two, but Joe Burns can also hit a hit a decent ball. As uh, Panton is opening the opening the play, but that one is driven, timed impeccably. That is a beautiful shot. <laughs> My goodness, James Panton. Not a not a not a terrible ball. It was hit on the up, but that straight drive just straight down the pitch as uh, Brendan McCullum gets his his uh, first ball to face here in the uh, in the Big Bash League. Looking to uh, open up here. I don't know what I was trying to do here, but he's charged him. And my goodness, that ball cut an absolute mile. It might look like a bad shot, but look at this ball deck back. How the hell was it going to hit that? It pitched like well outside off, and it's hit like a leg stump. That is a... Uh, that's almost as unplayable as uh, the Ben Cunning one. Probably not as good, but geez, that's a good delivery. But uh, Joe Burns, continuing on with that uh, beautiful straight drive, he's charged the bowler this time, hit him through whitish mid on. And uh, like I've said in previous videos, the the straight drives, the the charging, it it works so much better in this game, in my opinion. And uh, it's very effective. It's first over here. We have lost a wicket. <laughs> We're gonna lose two here. I honestly, I don't know how, I, that one must have decked back into him a bit as well, because I thought I played that, I thought I played the line okay, but as you see, it sort of, it completely misses the pad. I think I, I did play the wrong line, but it, it must have moved a little bit off the seam. So, Joe Burns, he did start off well, but we are 2 for 12 now. The run rate is fine, <laughs> um, as uh, Alex Doolin, he, uh, he faced the dot his first ball, but the second ball, a big 6 over, over mid-wicket, long on. And uh, 83 meters, a pretty big one, timed, timed perfectly, and uh, the run rate, we're going good, 14 off 20, you know, I was, this, this right here, I was sort of just trying to, you know, get it over with quickly, just 
have a bit of a have a bit of a bash. And that one, we've creamed it over cover this time. 79 meters, not as big as the last one. Probably a better shot. We've come down the track ever so slightly. It was a nice full delivery, and we have whacked that. That is one of the best shots I've played. Alex Doolin, 12 off three. He's just uh, he's just taken to Remington here. He bangs it in short this time. We whacked that one. But the fielder is going to get to it. I thought I hit it pretty well when I when I hit that. I thought it might have been over his head. But I just hit a little high up on the bat. Maybe played it a touch too late. And uh, it does go to the square leg man. So Alex Doolin, a decent debut, obviously, for his new club, the the uh, the Heat. and uh, But he does get out. And uh, Chris Lynn this time gets uh, gets his first real big shot away. A beautiful on drive right there, charging Bradley Hogg, having a bowl here. So four of sixteen, should be pretty comfortable. And that one is a huge six by Chris Lynn. That is a massive 106 meters. That is easily the biggest six I've hit so far playing this game. Honestly, like hitting sixes, I I really haven't. I've hit a few sixes, but most of them just gone like you know 70, 80 meters even a bit less than that, but 106 meters, that was, we have timed that one straight out of the screws, Chris Lynn finishes it off, and the Heat have, uh, have smashed the Melbourne Renegades in a, in a, in a big win, Ben Cunningham in the match, probably well deserved, 3 for 6, hopefully you guys enjoyed, look forward to more in the future, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.